Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis and today I'm going to do, show you how you can add more games, different games from, from the ones that you have on your micro SD card that comes with your game light TV stick, okay? So first, this is my version of my device, Seagam M8 version 6, okay? And so probably if you have a different model, it can be some way different, okay? So, on the left, I have the original card, okay? So, don't mess with your original card unless you make a backup. So, I already have a video showing you how you can backup your original card. And then, if you want, if you want to do changes on your card, you will have a backup, so you, you have no risk, okay? On the right side, I will have another card, 16 GB, okay? So there is some stuff, some testing i done previously, and this is a 16 GB card, and you see that it's only showing 7 GB, so even if I format, because there are some partitions there, I will not take uh, the total space of the card so for that reason we need a third party application which is called SD formatter okay so I will probably leave the link in the video description okay so I will format the card and so all the partition existing on the on the card will disappear it will become only one and and we will proceed from from that okay so this is really easy in fact so you can have more than one card and you don't need to copy so the one on the left is 64 gigabytes and i don't have so much cards at home to make a, a exact exact backup again with 64 gigabytes okay so we are creating a new card you just decide which size you want to create so this one for the video it's 16 gigabyte okay and now then it, we, we need to make sure that the card is formatted in FAT32 okay so if you check the properties of the card and it's not FAT32 okay so if not for FAT32 then you need to do it from from Windows and this way this now it will format the entire partition because it's only one partition and it will be really quickly so no issues okay so in order to create a new card for for your tv game stick it's really easy okay so just need to select all files on your original card but the ones starting by 00, zero until until zero weight those are the ones containing the roms okay so if you are planning to put different ROMs from the ones that you already have, you don't need to copy those, okay? So you just need to copy the, these files, the, these folders that I'm copying, copying right now, and this will make the card bootable, okay? Then just to show you that it works, so I will select random some ROMs, and I will, and I will put all the ROMs doesn't matter if they are from emulator A, B or C or D you can put everything in the same folder okay so this is just an example to show that it, it will work okay so imagine that you, you only like uh, 20 games those are the 20 games you, you love and you you want to play so you just create a folder with 20 games inside okay so when you go you will find immediately you don't want to go for a, and search inside a list of thousands of games so you can create several folders inside 
and give them the name you want okay because the stick when opening the ROM will identify and will open the ROM without problems okay so let me show you so click select and start from your remote at the same time to access the menu because okay and go to okay just again to see it's the same version and the same firmware it booted correctly and now you see that I have created the folder called my games and inside those ROMs that I copied and they all work okay so this is how you put more games on a different card or in your original card but be careful because if you delete some files the card might become unbootable okay so this is a good solution to create a, a backup card and you can put your new ROMs that you will find somewhere and you put create the folders so just to show you that everything is working okay and then I will put a second card that I created before this one it was my first test and I will show you that I have several folders containing each folder containing the the games concerning the specific emulator and everything works really well so I even I even found some emulators working that are not showing on the original menu so I will show right away so just let us test that these games are all working and then I will turn off the the TV game stick and I will turn on again with a, a second card that I created as I told you with several files but just to show you that everything works really well so the only the only negative point is that we cannot boot the games directly from the main screen from the menu okay it will not detect the games it will not refresh the game list so all the other games we had originally so from those files from those folders 00 until 008 or 9 those will be showing there but if you click they will not put because they are not there anymore okay so this is this is a, a a workaround and you if you have some ROMs a collection of ROMs somewhere on your hard drive or if you go online and search those ROMs Google is your friend you can download those ROMs and add to your stick if the emulator is supported and yeah it works really well as you can see okay so those ones were already on, on the original card this was just a test but uh, on my second card, I, I choose some ROMs from Batocera and from RetroArch that I have currently working on other machine and from MUELEC and okay, so let me boot now. This is already the, the second card I created and if I go to view local files, you now see Caboratech My Games, okay and this folder called ROMs was already there so these are all the folders I created and tested and I have games or ROMs inside and they work okay so something that I did so if you do the same and you see here for instance you see master system or a Mega Drive, I don't know. One of the emulators, and on your TV game stick, it doesn't work. I will say that I I also added some BIOS files from 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 RetroArch to the BIOS folder. So I don't know if that changed something to be able to run more games from different consoles 
but I will show you in the, at, the, at the end of the video the location of the BIOS files and everything I have inside so if you try some some games that I'm be showing you now working on my TV game stick but it doesn't work for you probably you need to do the same okay but I will show you at the end of the video I will show you where the BIOS files are located so the BIOS files are the core of the emulator okay so emulators if the emulator is not present on the on the hardware or somewhere in the in the disk file it will not be able to run the games properly okay it will not boot and as you can see so far all the folders I have been opening everything runs okay So Neo Geo working everything. So Neo Geo, I think it was already on the original car. Okay, working. Let's go out. Another one. And of course, PlayStation, it works really well so we are almost at the end don't forget if you learned something from this video if now you are able to add more games to your TV stick don't forget to give a thumbs up okay and consider to subscribe I am creating videos for retro gaming I have um, several devices I also do for uh, I will, I'm planning to, to make some videos for Bot Batocera, Retro, Retrobat and I also created for MUELEC if you search my channel and I also have RGBPI so RGBPI works for Raspberry Pi working for CRT TVs with a SCART cable, okay? So games will run on native resolution and works amazing. I will be doing a video explaining everything, showing my my setup working. So it's a Raspberry Pi working with a, with a Sony TV, Trinitron, by the, the SCART cable, okay? So this is the where you can change the from full screen to f 4 by 3 and perhaps for some games it works best in 4 by 3 instead of full screen so if you didn't know how to change that this is where you can do it and once again don't forget if this video was useful to leave a thumbs up so right now I'm going to show you where I put some more BIOS so here this is the, the path and inside you will see there are a lot a lot of BIOS that were not there probably they are not in your TV stick I don't know if some of those uh, worked for the, the ROMs that I was showing on the video okay I really don't know so if you if you're trying some of those emulators you saw on my folders and it isn't working for you probably this is the reason so remember that I had some BIOS inside the BIOS folder okay thank you very much consider to subscribe I catch you on a new video